parents who are deeply offended by the fact of Rocco being in the back of the truck, I'm sorry. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 times YouTubers got arrested. I'll miss you, Alexia. I know you're in a better place right now. For this list, we'll be looking at online creators that have been detained or charged with various crimes. Which YouTuber do you think committed the wildest crime? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Ross Creations – Leapfrogging In 2013, YouTuber Ross Creations landed in hot water after he performed what he thought was an innocent prank. What? He essentially flipped over a couple of police officers sitting on a picnic table, which led them to warning him that they wouldn't hesitate to arrest him if he did it again. <laughs> Things only got worse when the officers noticed Charles Ross was filming, after which they attempted to delete Ross's video, ending in a physical brawl between them and the YouTuber. Once the dust settled, the prankster had been arrested and charged with a misdemeanor for negligence. However, despite the response from the cops, many viewers were on Ross's side, saying that the stunt may have been annoying, but not deserving of being arrested. The charge was ultimately dismissed. And they dropped the charges because it was my first offense for anything. Number 19. Hayes Greer – Alleged Assault and Robbery Former Vine star Hayes Greer, who was once known for being the youngest male contestant on Dancing with the Stars, harmed his reputation after being arrested in 2021. According to the allegations, Greer had seriously injured someone and had apparently stolen their expensive phone. There were even allegations that the assault caused the victim to develop brain damage. And Hayes Greer faces three felony charges, including assault causing serious bodily harm. However, despite the injuries, a judge couldn't discern who was at fault for the fight due to both people being intoxicated. Additionally, the robbery charges were dropped after it was revealed the phone was returned. While he may not have seen legal repercussions, there was certainly damage to his career. He didn't post on YouTube again for over a year after the event, took a hit to his popularity, and as of May 2023, he hasn't posted an update in that same year. Big closeouts, boys. Till next time. Number 18. Jack Galinsky shoplifting. This incident proves that even accidents don't exempt people from consequences. Jack Galinsky of Jack and Jack learns that firsthand after being accused of theft in 2016. The YouTuber turned Viner had claims that he didn't realize he had walked out without paying. You're gonna cop a charge, bro. While he tried paying for it after realizing his mistake, the staff still called security to investigate. Galinsky's collaborator, Jack Johnson, captured the whole event via Snapchat. This is really happening. The recordings also showcased how both creators found the situation funny at first, until they realized that the perpetrator would actually be facing consequences. Galinsky also controversially offered to pay more than the article of clothing was worth. Dude offered to pay you triple? Just let him go. He was arrested and released on bail, although later he had to attend a court date for the crime. Just pay Galinsky's bail. Should be like 10 minutes till he's out. Number 17. Stokes Twins – Fake Bank Robbery YouTubers Alan and Alex Stokes decided to commit a prank where they would pretend to rob a bank. A stance on this level is already risky enough. Wait. The twins took it to a whole new level when they roped in an innocent Uber driver, who had guns drawn on him by officers that believed he was helping them with their alleged crime. The craziest part is, they played this prank twice on the same day after already having been detained and released by officers from another jurisdiction. They were arrested the second time and were charged with reporting false emergencies and false imprisonment. And They are each charged with one felony count of false imprisonment. However, they were able to escape jail time and were instead sentenced to over 100 hours of community service and restitution payment. I just didn't expect this to actually happen. Number 16. Mona Lisa Perez – Encyclopedic Stunt Let's go ahead and uh, show them what we have in store for our first video. In 2017, 
YouTuber Mona Lisa Perez and her boyfriend decided to film a video where they tested if a bullet could pierce through an encyclopedia. While Perez hadn't wanted to go through with the stunt, her boyfriend insisted that she go through with it. Babe, I'm not doing this. I can't. Unfortunately, she listened, which ultimately led to his unfortunate death. The worst part is that the couple had children that were also impacted by this event. Despite the death being accidental, she was still charged with manslaughter and sentenced to about six months in jail. I may fail, but if I fail, I want to die trying. Number 15. Andre Push, Alleged Whistleblower Andre Push was mostly known for his videos where he would explore abandoned properties. His type of content was already risky enough, as accessing classified deserted buildings can be considered trespassing. No one could have anticipated what would actually get the popular influencer in trouble. Essentially, between 2018 and 2020, Pish discovered plans for facilities that were supposedly being built in Moscow. After finding these plans, he then shared them with various people in Ukraine. Once Push was found out, he was swiftly arrested. The creator was found guilty of spreading state secrets and subsequently sentenced to five years in prison. Number 14. Daniel Silva – Murder After celebrating his 25th birthday, popular influencer Cory Labari trusted his friend and fellow star Daniel Silva to drive him home. However, Silva was intoxicated and lost control of the car, hitting several things. Both men were injured. Silva attempted to flee the scene and was only stopped by Good Samaritans who happened to be nearby. Police say they expect to make an arrest. Labari later passed away to the dismay of his fans and loved ones. That dismay turned to anger when Silva published an apology video, wherein fans of Labari claimed he lied about attempting to leave. I know I'm not the type of person that would leave a friend in a situation like that. This led to swift calls for justice, and he was ultimately charged with manslaughter. However, he only received a short prison sentence, probation, and community service, which further angered those who felt he deserved a harsher punishment. We are so grateful that Daniel has been granted the opportunity of probation in this case and has been spared a state prison sentence. Number 13. Callum McSwiggan – Fake Gay Club Assault in 2016, popular LGBTQ plus YouTuber Callum McSwiggan was arrested after being found vandalizing a car. He claimed that he was doing it after having been assaulted for his sexuality. While this initially drew outrage from his supporters, the police were quick to release their side of things. Apparently, the visible injuries McSwiggan had weren't due to an attack prior to the vandalism. He had actually been seen beating himself with a payphone, posting the self-inflicted injuries as proof following his arrest. But investigators say those injuries were self-inflicted and point to this booking photo of McSwiggan taken after the alleged attack. After this was revealed, McSwiggan admitted the stitches to his head were his own fault, but stuck to the claim that he was attacked by three people. He was denounced by several members of the LGBTQ community, receiving probation, and was made to complete anger management classes. And on Facebook today, McSwiggan admitted that he did hit himself in the face with a payphone. Number 12. Herman Abraham Loera Acosta – Kidnapping when a popular motivational YouTuber named Herman Abraham Loera Acosta was suddenly accused of kidnapping, his fans were understandably confused, as they only knew him as someone who gave positive life advice. However, his crime was darker than anyone could have guessed. He, along with several others, captured a lawyer and held her in a rented house for days, demanding several millions of pesos in Bitcoin for her safe release. Luckily, she was rescued after a few days, and the former YouTuber was arrested and sentenced to 50 years in prison for kidnapping. Number 11. Gas Kings – Scamming the Elderly Another YouTuber with a GTR with an R35, the English guy with the four eyes. While scamming in general isn't a great thing to do, it's something else entirely to target people more vulnerable to schemes such as the elderly. So when Gas Kings, a popular YouTuber known for uploading car compilations, was exposed for scamming retirees of their pensions, people were understandably angry. He set up a website that claims to invest 
pensions and would promise a portion to the victim and the rest to a charity supporting environmental causes. Nice or nice or bad reputation! He would then pocket the remaining money. Before he was caught, he had reportedly stolen around a million pounds and had scammed over 15 people. He was swiftly charged and sentenced to five years in prison, and his YouTube channel was deleted shortly after. Yes, Kings ain't a cargo! Number 10. Ruslan Sokolovsky, Pokemon Go to Orthodox Church. Pokemon Go was a craze that swept the world, encouraging kids and adults alike to travel their local areas while trying to catch their favorite Pokemon. The Russian government would prefer that you not catch them all, however, at least not in church. The Russian media had warned that playing Pokemon Go on holy sites could result in jail time. But Russian YouTuber Ruslan Sokolovsky actively challenged this, going to Yekaterinburg's Church of All Saints and broadcasting his adventures to his followers. The YouTuber was given a suspended sentence of three and a half years for inciting religious hatred. Number 9. Prince Z fake medical emergency. Have you ever been in a situation where you've realized you went too far? Vlogger Prince Z learns this the hard way after attempting a prank in 2021 where he pretended to pass out while driving through Times Square. Officers rushed in to help only to find out it was a social media hoax. It's unclear what reaction he was expecting, but it certainly wasn't multiple cops sprinting over. By that point, the YouTuber was in too deep and still pretended to be unconscious as they pulled him out. First responders urgently dragged him to safety, not knowing this was all a setup. Multiple emergency services arrived, and once they found out it was a prank, they were unamused. He was subsequently charged with several crimes, including false reporting and criminal nuisance. Stupid, that's what it is. Number 8. Kangua Ren – Toothpaste Oreos Pranks can be a fun way to mess around with your friends. It's a different matter entirely, however, when you target a vulnerable stranger. Reset was a Spanish gaming and challenge YouTuber. In 2017, he decided he was going to prank a homeless man sitting on the street, feeding him Oreos that had the cream replaced with toothpaste. The man threw up after ingesting them, so Kangua gave the victim 20 euros and then uploaded the video. Naturally, it received a lot of backlash. The prankster wasn't remorseful at all in initial interviews and was eventually arrested. In 2019, he was banned from YouTube, ordered to pay 20,000 euros to the man, and sentenced to 15 months in prison. Number 7. Count Dankula – Offensive Joke in 2016, Scottish YouTuber Mac Meachin, aka Count Dankula, decided it would be funny to upload a video of himself training his girlfriend's pug to perform a Nazi salute. He also riled the dog up into reacting to an offensive, anti-Semitic question. This led to his arrest for being grossly offensive, which sparked public debates about freedom of speech. I just want everybody to know that I don't actually believe in anything that I was saying in the video. The whole purpose of it was just to annoy my girlfriend. I actually hate racism in any way, shape, or form. Meechin claims that the video was supposed to make his girlfriend laugh, but the court found this lacked credibility since his girlfriend wasn't subscribed to his channel. He was ordered to pay an £800 fine, but refused, instead donating the same amount to the Glasgow Children's Hospital charity. What's funny about that? Context of it. It's the juxtaposition of having an adorable animal react to something vulgar. That was the entire point of the joke. Have you seen the video? However, £800 was later seized from his bank account. Number 3. Jake Paul. Arrested during riots. He, Don't is, do this. this is, is not. This he's, is not my dad. he's not five. Yeah. This is my I'm, dad. I'm his dad. Okay. This okay. is my dad. Hello. In 2017, Logan was arrested in Italy for flying his drone over historic sites. Uh, drone shots here are illegal, so let's definitely do that. 
not to be outdone, in 2018, little brother Jake was sued for $2.5 million for property damage to his rental home. Then in 2020, during the George Floyd protests, he was present during a riot in a mall in Scottsdale, Arizona, leading to charges of criminal trespassing and unlawful assembly. Turn around. We're here for Scottsdale. He claimed he was filming for a future project. The case culminated in the FBI raiding his mansion, after which the charges were dropped. Number 2. Jay Station Fake death leads to abuse allegations. Jason Matthew Ethier was a Canadian YouTuber who became infamous for his pranks and staged 3 a.m. challenges. What's poppin', guys? Back with another 3 a.m. challenge. As you guys know, my girlfriend Alexia just passed away in a tragic accident. In 2018, he was arrested at Walt Disney World for trespassing and resisting arrest. But much worse was to come. This needs to go all over the place. We, he got his stuff stolen, and now they're arresting. In 2020, he announced that his girlfriend, Alexia Murano, had been killed in an accident with a drunk driver. That's it right there. It's okay, man. Everything's gonna be okay. He proceeded to make several videos milking her death for views where he visited the crash site and even tried to talk to her ghost. Is there any spirits here that wish to talk to us? <gasps> Do you see that? Oh my god, it's moving, Jay. Dude, 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 dude. But she wasn't dead, and the YouTube community was outraged. Morano left him and accused him of abuse, leading to his arrest and charges of assault and assault with a weapon. And I felt like he was trying to isolate me from my friends, from my family, and I just felt really isolated and alone. He and Morano ended up reuniting soon after, but not for long. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Rocco Piazza Vlogs, Child Endangerment. This is probably the first time we've done something this illegal. Holly Piazza and Brian Chase were the adults behind the camera of the many adventures of nine-year-old Rocco Piazza. During one of their videos, he and his nanny were buried neck deep in water and Orbeez in the back of a pickup truck. The problem came when his mother drove them out onto the main road. Cars sped by as the pair bobbled around in the back. I feel like it was awesome and people love it and then people hate it, but it's just really cool for us. This video, along with another where Holly dumped all the plastic balls on a public road, caught the attention of local law enforcement. The couple was arrested for misdemeanor child endangerment and charged the cost of the subsequent cleanup. It's time for people to know the truth yeah. about YouTube, that we don't exploit children, we don't, we're not mm -hmm. treating him wrong or doing anything against his will. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.